All right, a little quick review of uh, your 240 LTS and some standard basic operations. The uh, first thing we're going to note is your main power. Right? This is going to be your main power cut off, on and off. Okay, if this is off, we don't have power to anything on our dash. We're going to cut this on. That's going to give us key on power, uh, the ability to get key on power. And that's where our radio is uh, tied into. Now, you can see uh, here, we've got several accessory switches. There's nothing tied into these. To get power to any of this, we need to have this power on. That's gonna give you power to these keys here, okay? Or these toggles, rather, here. So these are gonna be for anything that you wanna run power to. Like if you were to install those lights you were talking about or anything that's gonna require an external power, that's what these accessory switches here are gonna be for. Now, uh, radio. Uh, it's just your standard radio. Um, that's just stereo. Is your stereo? It's got Bluetooth. Uh, you can't tie it into your phone, etc. Main power on uh, down here, rather, is going to control your depth finder once it's booted up. Uh, we'll go through a little quick tutorial on that. Now, key on here is going to turn your smart craft gauges on. That is going to give you. Uh, the ability to just scroll through and get any of your digital readouts. <laughs> now, one of the things about this engine that we want to note is how to start it. The, uh, this does not have to be held in the start position. It is simply and it pops off, okay? So there is no need to hold it. Once it's in the accessory, give it a moment to key on and power up. Once that's done, all you're doing twisting and it's going to pop right off okay now here now uh, you see our graph is up this is going to be our home screen and from that menu you can select whichever version of screens you want to see you can get traditional sonar with down view you can get sonar map and gps whatever it is that you want is going to be selected from here uh, and then outside of that you're going to want to go ahead uh, and use those, some of those links that I sent you to get further in depth on how to set and adjust these things. This is your jack plate control up and down. Now, as we talked about, it's already set at a standard. Uh, it can be adjusted for performance to suit your specific needs, but that's set at a general performance right there already. Now, here, uh, we've got our trim tab controls. What these are gonna do, uh, you can use them to assist in your whole shot. Uh, you can also use them to assist in listing. What these do is deploy the little fins on the back. Now, if the boat is leaning to one side or the other, you can adjust here uh, and help control that listing through that. Uh, this is gonna be your iPilot control here. Again, this is another one of those tools that you're gonna wanna watch the videos that I sent you uh, to really uh, tie into how this thing works and operates. You've got your radio remote here. Okay, and then over here, we're gonna have all our other controls. Uh, this is gonna be your nav and courtesy lights here. This is gonna turn your back light on and your front lights on, and as well as any interior lights you may have in the boat here. This is gonna turn any of the compartment lights on. Now this, your bilge is an automatic bilge. This is how we turn it on manually if we need it to run. This is your bait well uh, fill and your recirc. That is this live well there, or bait well rather, okay? This is your horn, it's extremely loud. Then we got our wash down and our fish macerator here. Your wash down pump is up front in that compartment there. Then we've got our live well and our live well recirc on. That is your center box here, okay? That's your main live well. Now, again, these are all just blank switches that do nothing. They're accessory switches that you can tie power into if needed, okay? Then, down here is a little storage compartment. We've got some uh, little keychain stuff that comes with the, uh, your iPilot is a little backup. Now you've got your face plate holder for your stereo. I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna set them in here. You've also got your 12 volt accessory there. Now, you can on here real quick uh, you do have the ability as long as key is on and you you've powered up you can start the engine by just pressing 
by just pressing your start stop button there. Do make sure that your uh, emergency kill lanyard is in the up and run position. These do nothing, okay? This is not, well the throttle only will let you throttle um, without actually engaging the drive, but the docking and transfer are not gonna do anything for you, okay? Uh, then, so we're gonna turn this off. Put your cover back on there. We've got your compass here. Um, in the front here, you see, we installed the extra, or we installed your four bank charger here, all right? These three are your trolling motor batteries. So those three control just your trolling motor. That is your cranking battery. That is gonna control both the big engine, the stereo, your live well pumps, your bilge pumps, your graphs, that battery controls everything else. Now, to charge them, this is your battery charger cable. Just run a power cord to this, and then you will watch for lights on there to light up, and it will tell you um, it will tell you where they're at power-wise. Okay. Your fuel fill is here. You do want to run a higher octane in this. It doesn't have to be the uh, the absolute highest, but you do not want to put the 87 in. Okay. To get power on our trolling motor, we do need to plug in here. Okay. You're gonna see it's got these little grooves. You're gonna to wanna to match those up with your, uh, trolling motor plug here. Uh, twist, lock into place. Now, from here to deploy this, this is your depth adjustment. We take this, we slide this up or down to adjust how deep we want this to deploy, okay? That's where I want it to be, all right? This is my battery tester. It's gonna show me what level of battery I'm at here, okay? Now, to deploy it, we push in and down on this, and then we let this collapse down into place, okay? To bring it back up, make sure that it's locked into place, okay? It does have to push into place. Once it's locked into place and you wanna bring it back up, push again and pull it back and make sure that that is locked down there. The best way to travel is to have this little lock pushed down and in place here. That way if it accidentally deploys, it doesn't rip itself off the boat, okay? That must be plugged in and you must have power for that trolling motor to work. Um, real quick, back on this again real quick. You do have several breakers in here that you need to be aware of. This breaker is one and then that breaker is another. That uh, those two breakers, one controls your main power and the other is gonna control your trolling motor. So if something happens and those pop, you're not gonna get power to the front. So do be aware of that, okay? Uh, you do have this. I will tie that down and strap that in for you. There, turn the power off. I'm gonna turn this power off. We do have storage under these seats here, okay? Again, storage. This is your main live well. Your bait well. Your access to all your pumps and everything else here. Okay. And have an anchor light. I am gonna take that light there and stow it in a box up there for you before the boat leaves. And that is the gist of your boat here, okay? If you have any questions, let me know.